Firstly, the definition of hypertension itself is unclear in a lot of lay people's mind. Secondly, because it is silent and nobody knows whether they have hypertension or not, it is something that people don't even think about. And this is unfortunate because if you know about hypertension and control it well, then you can be normal. Well, most people have something called essential hypertension. And what is clear is that this is now afflicting people who are much younger. It is fair to say that this is perhaps due to changed lifestyles, eating habits, and the stress and strain of day-to-day -day life, which is much more today than what it was, perhaps, let's say, my times. Firstly, you need to know whether you're a hypertensive. So simply getting your blood pressure checked and being aware that there is something called hypertension and that if that is the case, then controlling it is the only way forward, is the primary and most important thing. There are many things that can be done to control hypertension. Changing your lifestyle is certainly important. Good eating habits with less salt is very, very and equally uh, important as a measure to control hypertension. Daily exercise and weight reduction where appropriate is another important point. There's also medication of various kinds that may be important and depending on the degree of hypertension and the doctor's advice, this medication may be prescribed but needs to be taken on a regular basis. This is the best way of making sure that you remain healthy. The life, proper lifestyle and diet can help in preventing developing high blood pressure or if they already have high blood pressure it will help in reducing the blood pressure so among this lifestyle most important thing they should you know allocate some time for exercise every day so it may be in the form of walking in some certain forms of games or uh, you know any yoga activities so some kind of you know, light weight training so all kinds of activities physical activities count so they should allocate enough time and they should have proper priority for this that is the most important part then the diet diet they have to be careful what they eat a diet which is rich in vegetables fruits the so-called high potassium diet and low in salt sodium so, for example you know people eat a lot of pickles or uh, preformed uh, food which have high salt content the restaurant food they have unlimited amount of salt so these things they have to avoid also, it's important to maintain ideal body, body weight. You know, people who are overweight, they tend to have problems. The blood pressure problems are much higher in people who are overweight. Uh, so it is important. Proper sleep, avoiding alcohol is also important. A, a low dose alcohol may not raise the blood pressure, but if someone drinks more than two drinks a day, then he's, there's the chances of developing, uh, the chances of developing high blood pressure will be definitely more. So these things are important. Also sleep, people who don't sleep well, people who you know sleep very late and not sleep adequately, they also tend to have higher blood pressure readings. So these things people have to avoid and it's a matter of choice for many of them because you can't say that you know I don't have enough time to exercise because if it is a priority then people should find time to do exercise, that's very important. Personally, I feel one of the best way to beat the stress is go for a walking. Uh, there are scientific evidences to say that uh, uh, just a walk or a regular walk or a brisk walk, uh, you can put music and go. What happens is that it releases endorphins basically. Endorphins is like of a morphine itself. So basically your body has its own morphine, you know, you feel good. You feel, you can beat stress. There are, it has been scientifically proven. So uh, going for a regular walk, it's a very, very, one of the best stress busters what you can have. And of course, you will have to find time. What we say is that we need to do 30 minutes of a brisk exercise uh, per day, at least five days a week. That would be around 150 minutes in a month, uh, in a week. It is not very difficult to find that. If you can put Saturday and Sunday together, another three days in five days, you can pull in. Even if it is late night or whatever it is, we're, uh, or let's say a person is going for an uh, uh, office which is around three or four kilometers, don't take a bus or a vehicle or something. You just walk. Uh, you want to buy groceries, walk. I mean, these are the certain small, small steps which can help in building up things. And also, uh, for dietic exercise, uh, dietic things. You know, uh, there are people who, uh, uh, for a curd rice or a salad, they put salt. Avoid that. 
you know if you avoid once a day and on a long term it will be a very big thing